So when was the last update? Three weeks ago. Well, this episode of Roscoe's Reef, we're going to go over the tank, go over the system, and catch you up on what's been going on over the last three weeks. So let's get to it. So what happens when you get wrapped up with other things in life and work gets out of control? Three weeks go by since your last update. That's what happens. Hard to believe, but yes, three weeks have gone by since the last update and I've put out any information on my tank. So this week we're going to answer all those questions. We're going to take a look at some good and bad things that have happened in the tank because yes, with that length of time, unfortunately, some bad things have happened. Uh, I'm going to catch you up on that and also give you uh, some new items that have entered the system and some things I'm really excited about. Also, I'm going to give you a hint at some future videos that are going to com come up on the channel as well as some filtration items that uh, I'm going to run through for anybody who's new and has never uh, taken a look at the filtration on the tank. I'm going to catch up on that as well. And um, also just a general overview of the tank and what's going on with it. If you are a new or um, existing subscriber, thank you very much for enjoying the channel and just hit the bell so this way you're notified of future updates as they come out. Also leave your questions and comments down below the video as I really, really enjoy um, talking with everyone who is part of the channel and interacting with you in that manner. If you are brand new and this is your first time or your first video, hit the subscribe button if you like the content and hit the bell as well so you're notified and introduce yourself and leave a comment or question down below. So with that being said, let's head over to the tank and see what's going on. So in this week, we're gonna start out on the tower itself and you will take notice that the big colony of Purple Digi is no longer um, a <laughs> big colony basically what had happened is over uh, the course of a couple of days it started to bleach out and started to get this brown jelly on it I removed all the colony and dipped it and the pieces you see here are all the pieces that remain now this is good and bad in that the digi itself is a very fast grower so it should fill out again in no time but also it gives me the opportunity to add corals such as this pinked out chalice from Worldwide Corals and a frag of the red digitata to help bring a little bit more color to this section of the tank. The Hollywood Stunner Chalice is doing really well, at least the upper frag is doing really well. The lower frag is getting shaded to the point now that I'm and probably going to move it and put it to and try and glue it to actually to the back glass uh, on the right side and have it fill out and kind of equal out things. You can also see that there was a chunk taken out of it. I woke up one morning and found a piece hanging off. That piece is now over here and will be one of several pieces that's going to go to Billy Pipes' tank. And what we're going to start doing is we're going to start banking corals in that we're going to take frags of certain corals within the systems and put it in each other's tanks. The reason why we're doing this is in case something major goes wrong and we lose a large quantity of our tank, um, we'll have frags of certain corals to restart it or even if we lose a particular coral that we have a frag of, we can just uh, trade back and forth and um, you resupply the person who lost the coral. It also gives an opportunity for the person who's banking the coral to uh, add some frags to his tank for no price at all. So I highly recommend that as uh, uh, just a way of safeguarding your system. Here is the rainbow trachea. It's filled out this corner really a whole lot and there's not much room between the glass and itself. And it is just an immense, beautiful coral and it's become 
one of my show pieces that's in my tank. In the back, you see right here is the A-can barrel banky. You can see right there, there's a few more heads that have formed and it's gotten to the point now that I'm gonna to have to remove this from that plug and put it on a rock to allow it to grow out. The purple, gold, and green candy canes, I moved over just slightly to the right to allow them to get a little bit more sun, a little bit more room, a little bit more light, and a little bit more room. And uh, they're doing really well. The button scoli is growing practically almost off the frag plug at this point, and that probably would be moved to a rock soon. The future plan for this garden is probably going to go up for sale or um, trade because at this point, this large piece, I just want to move it out of the tank and give myself more room. Uh, I have taken off the zoas that I like out of the garden and you'll see them shortly. The night before Christmas, Favia is doing really good. Starting to grow more and more down that rock and hopefully soon we'll encrust the whole thing. I have noticed that on this side, more of the greens and yellows are coming out as opposed to the red, but that's okay and it's still a good looking piece. The red blastos are doing really, really good. The two top polyps are immense. That's a given. But right here now you can see, now more than before, the polyps that are underneath them. And uh, I'm gonna probably move this one as well to another rock so uh, they can spread out and start growing really good. Now, as far as the A-cans are concerned, they're all doing great. Um, you can see here the, the foundation colonies that I have on this rock are colored up really nice and this one is just ridiculous as far as colors uh, these two you can see these these are the pink ones that was an experimental one from Billy um, they're grown now to the point where I'm going to move them to a rock of their own and also these orange ones I'm going to move them to a rock of their own to allow them to grow out more okay another piece of bad news is right here and this one really hurts bad this is the big neon green candy cane colony that I have. You can see right here, there is a lot of die off and exposed skeleton on this piece. I don't know what's causing it, but I'm keeping my eye on it and I'm not getting too out of control. It has leveled off in recent days and if it just stays there then and, and then it'll grow over it, that's great. If I see any more die off, I will take this out and dip it. Uh, but I don't want to move things too quickly because in this hobby, as you know, uh, if you do anything quickly, you wind up going to hurt it even more than, than help it. The birthday cake coral and the maize brain coral are really growing by leaps and bounds every day. Another showpiece in my tank is this red Montipora cap. It's really grown a whole lot over recent weeks and you can see Right here, it's sending up this little stick out of the center, I call it. But it is encircling now and uh, growing. It's about four inches high. And the base, it's sending out these two uh, branches. So it's continuing to grow out and up. And it's a really awesome piece of my tank. The Barney Colony has totally healed since the cutting of the frag. And you can see now, I'm gonna show you, right up there, that white is growth. But also, that is the frag that I cut. It's fully encrusted onto the plug, but just that bit of difference in height on, on this piece makes it turn from the purple to the green. Now, talking to Jason Fox, he uh, basically said that when it gets to that neon green stage, it's not, it's getting, it's not getting enough light, and that piece I'm gonna move over there and it'll color, color up shortly. But it's just amazing to see that just a little bit of difference. The coral is healthy, but it's just showing signs that it needs more light. Now, on to another piece. This is a called a Space Odyssey Acro from Worldwide Corals. And uh, it's gone on to my top rock, and I'm just watching its growth, seeing where it likes to be. And I'm really excited to see how this is going to turn out. Now, this shelf is going to be is slowly becoming my um, zoanthid uh, section. Well, a lot of my higher-end zoanthids, like 
the Pandora Pally here you see with three heads including you know that two big ones and that one little baby the Utter Chaos, Sunny Delights and Fiji Fires are all on this rock along with the Rastas that are down in the cave I don't want to put them all bunched together even though I have the other ones up there but that's why I put the, the Rastas down here to let them grow out give it more of a natural look and not so much of a a planted look. Now right here are the red jawbreaker mushrooms and you see that the original three are still there plus here, is, here are the two babies. Now the little one on the bottom I had seen but this one just totally popped up out of nowhere. I moved the torch through a top section of rock and it's really filled out and fluffy so I'm, I'm really excited about where that is as well as this frog spawns tentacles are immense and um, that one will not be moving as well as well all the frog spawn is doing well including the original uh, here you see a top piece of it that's a frag from it that's uh, from, for Billy Pipes tank as well as here is the mother colony and you can see right now there's very soft flow to this section I found that when um, I just recently changed the flow that was coming into this area and the flow was a little bit too hard and giving these tentacles a stringy look as you can see here but since I moved them it's beginning to fluff back up the way it should be and take on its traditional shape anyone who has seen the aquarium care center video will realize that these two uh, rocket enemies I picked up from their shop it was kind of a whim that I picked them up in that I never had these in my tank and figured finally to, I decided to pull the trigger on these and I really like them. I like the way they look. They don't move around and I probably will be getting more to fill out this section of rock and sand. The last piece I have for you is right here. Uh, it is a hot pink Ganiopora uh, and it's the first one I've ever purchased and the first one I've ever tried to run in my tank. And I'm really excited to see this thing hopefully grow out and cover this rock. Now as far as the filtration goes, I am still running the SCA 302. Um, it's doing fantastic work as it has been over the last five years or so. Uh, the refugium that I have is a 40 gallon breeder that was designed by Billy Pipes and myself and it really is doing, it is a workhorse in my tank and does great work. And it, I will have this as my sump uh, moving forward for years to come. I run um, Bubble Calerpa and Chato as a macroalgae. Uh, there are other algaes as you can see how dirty it is in there. I don't mind that because at least I know that the algae is being absorbed down here and has never entered the uh, top display. Coming into this section is my Jabo ATO controller and there's a Jabo um, return pump moving over that's just my supplies for calc washer and, and stuff like that but this is a um, carbon reactor that was designed and built by Billy Pipes right here is my auto top off buckets and it's run by the aqualifter pump you can see that the um, tube comes out of the top of the bucket goes to the aqua lifter and then comes out the back and enters the back of the sun, the back of the cabinet comes up and it's strapped on the back of that wall and then goes right into the um, return chamber of the um, sump so that'll take care of it for this update and uh, just to give you a heads up some of the future videos um, there's going to be a future video on these two products right here. These are Ocean Revive T247 LEDs and uh, I'll have a full unboxing and review of them and also a setup video for you. There's going to be an update to the Calcwasser video as well as a return to Aquarium Care Center. Uh, to look at their filtration on their frag system and also um, some more news hopefully from them and uh, that'll take care of it for this week's update so until next time this is Scott and I will see you soon around the reef tank
you for watching this episode of Roscoe's Reef with Scott. As always don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe.